Hi, welcome to the complete mobile ethical hacking course. So within this course, we're going to learn a lot. And I promise this is not what you're going to get during this course. You're not going to see any presentations or any other PowerPoint slides. We're going to do a lot of practice. This is going to be a hands-on course where you will get to practice what you learn constantly. But before we start, I need to explain what's included in this course so that if you're an experienced programmer, maybe you may just want to skip some lectures or sections, or maybe if you're starting from scratch, you, you're wondering what to learn in this kind of topic. So this will be a good opportunity for you to learn all of those things. So when we talk about mobile penetration testing or mobile ethical hacking, uh, we can mean a lot of different sections, a lot of different subjects. For example, are we talking about hacking the device itself? like uh, hacking the phone or hacking the tablets? Or are we talking about routing or jailbreaking the iOS operating system devices or Android devices? Or are we talking about hacking the applications themselves, like uh, maybe cheating in a game or finding a vulnerability in a banking application? Or are we talking about hacking the users, like uh, creating a backdoor and stealing the user's information, how hackers do that? Or are we talking about the reverse engineering of an application where we try to find the source codes or how application works in a general? Or are we talking about the server or API security or the wireless HTTPS, HTTP network attacks? So basically, when we talk about the mobile ethical hacking, we talk about everything that you see on this list. And I try to uh, actually create this course in order to let you know all about this thing. So you're going to find different sections for each of the subjects that you see over here, and we're going to learn a lot. And actually, furthermore, we're going to learn the fundamentals of iOS and Android development as well, because we need that information in order to comprehend all of these things. So maybe if you're an Android developer, of course, you can uh, actually skip the Android development fundamentals section. Or if you're an iOS developer, you're more than welcome to skip the iOS development sections and go for the other ones. However, we're going to have to include all of these things in the curriculum. So this basically means that if you don't know anything about programming or cybersecurity, you're more than welcome to join the course because we're going to learn everything from scratch. And if you think about what kind of system do I have to have in order to follow along with this course, whether you have a MacBook or you have a Windows or if you have an Android phone or iOS device, it really doesn't matter. So for the reverse engineering part, we have an exclusive section for the iOS reverse engineering, and that's where you need a MacBook and an iOS device. So other than that, so 90% of the time in this course, either you have a MacBook or a Linux or a Windows, it really doesn't matter. We're going to work with virtual machines, we're going to work with emulators, simulators, in order to comprehend and understand and practice every subject on this section. So only for like one and a half hour of this course, you're gonna have to have a MacBook and an iOS device in order to practice the iOS reverse engineering things. So if you don't have those, don't worry about it. You can always take notes and watch the things that we're going to do in the sections as well. So 90% of the time, you will be still able to practice all of the things that we're going to learn, but I should warn you, uh, for the limitations of the Apple, you're going to have to have a MacBook if you want to do iOS reverse engineering most of the time, okay? So that's it. That's what we're going to learn during this course. And I should warn you, we're going to learn how hackers hack into the mobile devices and uh, in mobile applications as well. So don't ever forget that you should stay in the legal boundaries. We are learning this all 
of these things in order to be cybersecurity specialists, in order to prevent bad hackers, black hat hackers, from committing these crimes in order to create some safe spaces, safe mobile applications and safe mobile devices. So don't ever forget that you should comply with your local um, laws regarding the cybersecurity and we're learning all of these things in order to be professionals. So now, if you're ready, let's get started.